A hot mic incident where people may share candid comments while unaware that the microphones pinned to their lapels are energized and broadcasting their remarks to a much wider audience than intended often results in a mixture of entertainment, embarrassment, or enlightenment, depending on whose perspective it is. On Thursday afternoon, it was the governor and the premier of the Virgin Islands' turn to have a hot mic moment of their own. Albert Bryan Jr. and Dr. Natalia Wheatley of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, respectively, were awaiting the start of a press conference on the 9th Inter-Virgin Islands Council meeting. Before the start of proceedings, the two leaders were engaging in light conversation, seemingly both unaware that their microphones were live. I don't know why it should be a hard election. If we lose, it's there for train. <laughs> but we had, we had two years out. We line up everything to... Right up until this point. Huh? Right up until this point. Right. Yeah, because we, have, we actually have a plan that says the people's plan. It's all the thing, not what the people want. And, it, you know, a lot of them should have happened already. But with COVID and the delays and everything, it just it just a it's a landslide as shit happening but, one but day. The timing work out. <laughs> timing is good. Yeah. You want to win. In chatter that went on for almost two minutes, Governor Bryan disclosed his view that only one of the teams challenging his incumbency stood any chance of defeating him, and that's the Kurt VLA Janelle Sorrow ticket. Of the other challenges, well, listen for yourself. Only huh? one? DLA. The other two, the other dude is a felon. And the other dude, no, seriously, he went to jail. Oh, yeah? Yeah, for kidnapping her. He had, he was police, he kidnapped this strip, strip, um, stripper. I went to jail and then the other guy, he did just run every year for the hell of it, you know. It's only really head to head. Sorry's Sar Sar with, um... Sorry's with BLA, yeah. So how is, how is that? How is to two of them again, huh? No, I mean, how, it, how close is it? Over here, they ain't even, they ain't even in the arena. In St. Croix, I think it's closer. The felon Brian is referring to is gubernatorial candidate Ronald Pickard, who was convicted in 2001, along with two other defendants, of violating the civil rights of over a dozen people while serving as police officers on St. Croix. Pickard was sentenced to nine years and nine months in prison after a jury found him guilty on seven counts, including assault with a deadly weapon, brandishing a handgun, civil rights violations, and oppression. He has always maintained that he had been set up after highlighting corruption in the VIPD and says that his criminal record granted him an awareness of and a determination to fix the brokenness of the system. Ahead of Wednesday's press conference, Brian and Wheatley continued to chat about the upcoming general election and specifically the St. Croix vote when they were seemingly made aware that the microphones were on and recording their conversation. The original recording, which featured the hot mic moments between the two, has since been removed from the U.S. Virgin Islands Government House Facebook page.